Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here and today for you guys another video of Port Persona 5X here and inside today's video guys, we're going to be talking about Queen or Makoto Nijima here and of course how her kit is working. Now this is going to be before we actually know her official kit, this is what we have now from like of course closed betas and things like that in which we're going to be getting a nice feel of what she can do pretty much here. So of course if you guys are interested in this, be sure to sit back, relax and enjoy the video. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out quite a lot inside of the algorithm here. And as you can see, we are trying to really ramp up so we can actually hit 3.1K here. And I would love all the support as possible here. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now Makoto Nijima is one of the few characters that is absolutely amazing here. We already know she's gonna be stupid powerful based on things that we have seen about her, but um, she's also going to be the second final, finally, the second new unit that we're getting into the game. And not like Leon where we have, of course, just, oh, we got a little bit of a buff, right? We got just a buff. No, we are finally getting a single target DPS that will absolutely carry the game. So Leon, of course, is mainly centered on that buff type of ordeal when Makoto is actually centered on something else. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the actual kit here um, that we have from the closed beta and things like that. That's some people inside, I think, the P5X hangout zone ended up making this here in which uh, she is a single target DPS, right? We already know that, of course. Our basic stats, you guys can see at the top. Of course, if you want to, you can zoom in a little bit, pause the video for a second, zoom in, check out the actual basic stats here. All this is most likely gonna be changed here, but she has some interesting moves. As we can tell, she has one AOE move, a heal, and of course, a single target move here. Um, Her single target move, we're gonna get to, cause that's gonna be the major one that we wanna look at, but we also have to look at everything else. So with her AOE move here, it's called Pulse Combo. It takes about 17 SP here, which you will be able to deal 72.0 or 72% new damage to all enemies. Now this will give her to toughness, which actually ties into her passive. So let's go ahead and actually talk about the passive first, which is awareness zero called Ike Slimming here, in which whenever Queen is using a skill or receives damage, she will actually gain one toughness. Now each toughness will increase her attack and defense by 4.5%. And then the maximum amount of toughness is 10. As you can see with the first skill, she gives herself two toughness. So that's all of her just immediately hitting, right? So she is two toughness plus the awareness zero, which gives her an extra toughness. So three in the one turn. If she does get hit, she will then receive another toughness to give you like four right there, and which can utterly help out your stats. So if you think about it, that is 4.5 times four right there. And your boy is getting at least around 13%, 12% actual DPS on attack and actual defense in general. This automatically is making her absolutely worth it. And if she is a single target DPS, like we already do know, because we have seen uh, some more images of her, if she's a single target DPS, cough cough she is, she's going to be absolutely crazy. And seeing what they've done with Yusuke, I wouldn't be surprised if they make her just as busted too. But um, that's just off of her skill one. Now her skill two is of course a healing skill here, which takes up 26% or at least 26 SP in which her heals actually heals 50% of attack plus 3.2% attack based on the number of toughness. So of course the more toughness you got here, the more attack percentage you can get off that multiplier in which will give you more HP. Now alongside this here, you do get a 25% damage boost or defense boost here to one party member for two turns. So she is not only your DPS or your only low DPS or here, but she also brings to the table that toughness that we need, or at least that defender type beat that we need here when it comes down to our character. As many of us know, Leon is very much so a little bit of a class cannon. And then of course, when it does come down to certain characters, they don't do the best in that degree, right? They have a little bit of that kind of iffy type feel. She'll give us more of that tankiness that we do need. And of course, if you're kind of smart with this, you could possibly use Makoto, Rin, Leon, something like that, because then you have your buffer, you have a defense shredder, and then of course you have her doing all the things you you very well do need. With her skill three, of course, it's called Nuclear Thermal Explosion here, which is a single target, takes 19 SP. With this, she's able to deal 119 plus 5.5% number of toughness to the enemy here. 
well, this is going to be multiplied by the number of toughness that she has. With this being stated, she's able to deal a ton of nuke damage to one enemy, and for every debuff that the enemy have, cough, cough, the reason you use Rin with her, um, with every debuff that the enemy does have, the damage of the skill will be increased by 10% up to a maximum of 20%. This is absolutely insane. So if they keep her kit the same or if they buff it with keeping the stuff that she has currently, she is going to be an absolute powerhouse to the whole nuke side of things here. But alongside of this, we do have a highlight here or the highlight intro, which is actually a single target highlight. Deals 256 new damage to one enemy and gives them a random debuff. Now, of course, if you do have her with uh, some dupes, of course, or at least later on, she's going to be crazy, crazy worth it. But if we look at the potential one skill, which is another one of her, of course, uh, what is it called? Passives here. We have one that says gathering energy. When Queen has 10 toughness, the defense of every party member is increased by 7%. Hey guys, you might want to use Puppet on this one. Just giving you that little saying. But um, you get 7% of course, more defense. And then of course on her potentials too, at the start of Queen's turn, her attack is increased up to 500 out of a thousand points of her defense. So the more defense you do got, the better a little bit, but you really want to focus on also having that attack in there. So it would be kind of interesting to see how her card set's going to be. I do think um, she's going to be a little bit only still nuke damage related. So you're going to have the nuke damage set on her, of course, with maybe a little bit of attack substats and some defense substats still kind of half and half on that. But you definitely want to have some defense on her because she does need to tank a decent bit while also being able to convert that defense into some attack stats. So overall, Makoto is going to be freaking insane. I can't wait till she drops. I'm definitely going to get her. Um, without a doubt, this is probably one of the few characters that all free to play. So I'm telling you this right now. Please don't make the mistake and go all in on Yusuke. Or please don't make the mistake and just skip Makoto. I get it. Futaba might come after. I get it. More of those characters might come after. Uh, listen, navigators, we have two of them already. One nuke unit, that is just a supporter. That is it. You miss out on Makoto, that whole element for you is absolutely trashed. So um, surely keep that in mind. Try to save up for this character. She's going to be absolutely insane. But you guys let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this. Until next time, everybody, peace out.